What is going on guys? Tam here at your service. Now today we're going to talk about my first product and why you will fail on Amazon or why you will succeed. Now there are two sides of the coin guys depending on what decisions you make and what actions you take. If you're wondering if you're going to fail or succeed with your first product then this video is for you because based on what information you check yes from this video you will know if you will fail or succeed with your first product given that you've already started. Now, this is my story. When I started with my first product, it was actually this light bulb camera. It was like a surveillance camera. You would uh, attach it to a light bulb outlet, right? Or um, uh, what they call it, um, or a socket. And uh, it would just start recording, right? It just looks like a light bulb. It's perfect. It got the 360 camera and all that. So now with that, I made a lot of mistakes guys my very first one was electronics never ever 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 get into electronics why the return rate is astronomical guys and as you guys know what Amazon likes to do is basically return it at your cost they're not gonna do it at their cost and again you're paying inventory fees you're paying FBA fees and all that which you're not gonna recover right because it's already done so <laughs> that was my first stupid mistake. Now, uh, I look at back at it and I laugh about it. I can actually say, you know what? Um, I learned from it. Yes, like now it paid off that I learned from those mistakes, but why make those mistakes in the first place? What I didn't do, I didn't do my research. I didn't do proper research. As you guys know, I was working at Pizza Pizza and I was also trying to run Amazon as a sidekick. Now, one of the problems is that you cannot look at it as a side gig, guys. Like it's a full time, sometimes overtime job when you're starting out and you really got to put in the work with that specific product. Right. I'm on the I'm on the phone with suppliers in China at 3, 4 a.m. Um, every night trying to figure out when I'm like, what's going to happen with the ship and are they going to finish everything on time? I ordered about 200 units. And uh, I was selling this product for about $60 a unit. Now, second mistake, high price point, right? I know it's an electronic, but people, when I started on Amazon at that time, they weren't buying high ticket items. They were buying things that are like $20, $30. And if you guys know, if you guys have done your research, you know that Amazon's like really sweet point and you do not want to go uh, below $20. And there are reasons, guys. Because your manufacturing costs, shipping costs, Amazon FBA costs, inventory costs, what are you left with? What profit margin are you left with? If you're selling something for like $20, $25, you better make sure that your cost, everything combined, is less than $10. Because if you're not making at least 50% profit margin, guys, don't even go into it. Don't even touch that product. Well, I did. I, I bought this product. Um, I was manufacturing it for like about $25 a piece and I was six, uh, I was selling this for $60. $25 a piece, not accounting my FBA fees, which was about like $8 per unit. Uh, that included my like, uh, you know, um, uh, pick, pack, ship, returns, all that stuff. Uh, my shipping costs were separate. I went with a forwarder that uh, people encouraged me to go with like I, I asked a bunch of people that were doing Amazon at that time and I asked them for their recommendation and all of a sudden uh, on a Facebook group what happens is there is this Asian guy in China is saying hey I'm a forwarder I'll take care of you I'm like great wow I was looking for a forwarder today how great is this right start dealing with him didn't go as planned why delays this guy was consolidating shipments for different clients. So he didn't care exactly when you needed the shipment, right? He cared about making the most money, consolidating your shipment so you can fill a container, right? So he doesn't have to send that container half empty where he will lose money. And he would wait, he would wait. I lost 20 days, guys. My shipment came 20 days after the promised date. So think about that. Here, I'm ready to sell these cameras and my listing is up, everything is ready to go, I'm doing my launch and my product is not there. Stupid, right? 20 days after, the one thing that I could have avoided is split it up. Get 50 shipments out by air, right? Do air freight, I know you're gonna pay a little bit more and then the rest 150 by ocean because as you guys know, 
ocean from China could take between 30 to 35 days. That's about the average and sometimes more depending on if there are delays at the port, sometimes there's congestion. So you got to account for all these things that you don't think about. So delays, um, back ordered product. Now um, my shipping came finally. I started selling this product and what happened was that I had a high return rate because it was an electronic, it wasn't working. And to make matters worse, I did, had not ordered samples to actually look at this product and test it out. I was so excited. I'm like, hey, this is perfect, guys. Like, I can actually not even have to touch the product. I can send it straight from my supplier, uh, direct, or sorry, to Amazon FBA Warehouse and directly to my uh, clients, right? Wrong. You have to get a sample, test it out, test it out for a few weeks, see if it actually lasts. Uh, do you guys know? Electronics coming out of China are very, very sensitive that some you will get good products and that some you'll get really shitty products. And good products are hard to find if it's coming from that part of the world. My mistake, I should have ordered a sample so I can test it out and I didn't and I learned the hard way. So people started having problems with these products. First of all, like they didn't even do my packaging, right? They didn't even put my logo, which I had specifically asked for. And we we're actually asking for samples. Also ask for a sample once you have made a deal with them before they shipped your entire product, get him to ship you one package. So you know exactly what it looks like, what's inside the box, or the additional marketing sheets that you've asked them to put. Are they in there or not, right? I didn't none of that was in there not even my logo was on on the box it was just a brown box that's it right big missed opportunity i could have branded much better if i actually had ordered a sample so um products start selling not too many as at that time if i remember correctly i was selling maybe like um eight units a week something like that i wasn't selling every day and which was still like exciting to think about it okay i'm making 20 25 dollars a piece but if you remember, I told you it was $25 just to manufacture and then my shipping costs, my FBA fees. Um, so that you sh that would leave me with about $15, $17 profit, something like that. It was, I think it was, yeah, $15.79. That's what it was. $15.79 per unit, I would have profit on this product. Now, after the hard work and everything that I had done, it was not worth it. And I was only making... Um, 15 times like the eight which I sold not even $150 uh, a week on this product so think about it guys like it's not even 600 that's so probably doing $500 um, per month on this product which should have been great now the kicker was that once I started getting reviews they were negative guys like this product was faulty it was working for a week and then boom done it was not quality product the parts were flimsy like it was made with cheap plastic it was not what it looked like in the pictures, guys. And if you guys know any, if you guys have ordered anything from Wish, Wish.com, which is another big supplier from China or a, an e-commerce site, um, I've ordered things from there that look so shitty when you get them, but the pictures look absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, so I got negative reviews. I got a bunch of returns. It ate through my entire profit. I don't even think like I actually. Um, made any profit at the end of it just because everything I did I did wrong I did it the opposite way now the reason why I tell you guys to follow the structure the reason people have courses on this the reason people have videos on YouTube is so you follow a structure right if you go at anything without having to do your research without having to actually um, test a product um, work on your listing properly do your pictures properly launch it properly do the SEO um, uh, make sure your suppliers are quality don't forget about quantity all these things if you don't actually keep it in mind you're gonna fail and if you have uh, the things that I mentioned today if you're launching your product and you have not done any of these I would tell you guys to stop go back to the drawing board make sure you do it right the first time because it's a headache when you lose five thousand dollars guys like it's a headache and i lost five thousand um, dollars on that first product it was stupid of me um and to make matters worse that five thousand i had taken it straight from my credit card so i was paying my credit card with 24.9 percent interest rate on top of it guys so 
that's it learn from my experience i wanted to share that with you guys now every time it makes me a little bit frustrated but again i think this story is a cautionary story for you guys to make sure that you do things right and i learned from it i learned from it day in day out now when i do anything on amazon i make sure i follow the process the right tools and everything Thank you guys. If you guys have any specific questions about my first product, uh, if you want to know more details, please feel free. Drop your comments in the below comment section. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If it actually helped you, give this video a thumbs up and let me know how it has helped you. I really appreciate your viewership, guys, and I'm hoping that I'm making some difference for you guys and helping you guys with your products. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye.